We are going to start working on how to calculate adding integers, um, doing the positives and negatives. If you have a book, you're using a book. If you do not have a book, you are using a Google form or something of that sort to kind of follow along. But the numbers should represent the same. Um, so that is what I'm going to be holding you accountable for. All right, we're going to add integers with the same sign. That is what we're dealing with first. So in other words, if we have positives, when we add positives, when we have negatives, we add negatives. Um, and the first way to represent that is using our um, two color counters where the yellow is positive and the red is negative. So to model two color counters, three plus four, we have three yellows and four yellows. So how many counters are there in all? If you count, there are seven. So what is the sum and how do you find it? Well, if you do three counters plus four counters is seven counters. Make sure we can read it all. If we have two that have the same sign again, and we start representing them with counters, okay, these are all five negative counters that are red, three negative counters that are red. So how many counters are there in total? There are eight. Since the counters are all negative integers, the sum then shows that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because they are all red, they are all negative. So we have a total of eight negative um counters. So the big idea is when adding two numbers with the same sign, that is important, with the same sign, um, what sign will you use for the sum? Well, you'll notice positive ended up being positive, negative ended up being negative. See? So therefore, if they have the same sign, It stays same sign. All right. If you need to pause, hit pause. Hopefully you can read all of this. We're going to move on to the next question. There we go. You can also use a number line to try to solve these. Um, that is not any different than what you're doing when you use a number line to count up or count down. Um, let's, um, just like you add positive integers or add subtract positive integers, you can add negative integers. So this one is the temperature was negative two degrees below zero. The temperature drops by five degrees. So it's dropping, that means it's negative five more. What is the temperature now? So A, what is the initial temperature written as an integer? It would be written as negative 2. Mark the initial temperature on the negative one. So I did that. A drop in temperature of 5 is like adding negative 5 to the temperature. Count on the number line to find the final temperature. Mark the temperature now on the number line. So it's going because it's negative. It's going backwards. So one, two, three, four, five. That will make our answer be negative seven. The temperature is seven below zero. All right, let's get this to see the rest of it. What if, suppose the temperature is negative one and drops by three. I'm going to try to get a different color. So if it was negative 1, okay, and it drops by 3. So how would that be different? So I would count down from negative 1 to negative 4. I can prove that. Here's my negative 1. Negative, and it drops three, one, two, three. So my new number is negative four. 
How would using a number line to find the sum 2 plus 5 be different from using a number line to find the sum negative 2 plus 5? So let's think of our number lines. If we have negative 2 or 2 and 5, when it's positive, it goes that way. When you're adding, it goes that way. When you are negative, it goes that way. So the best way to describe that would be to say, when moving positive, it goes, and I'm going to say up or to the right. And on the opposite way, when moving negative, it goes down or left. What are two other integers that have the same sum, negative 2 and negative 5? Well, that would be the same. I need to make some um, ways to make negative 7. So negative 1 plus negative 6 will make 7. Negative 3 plus negative 4 would make 7. Uh, 0 plus negative 7 would make negative 7. That's all it's wanting is some um, fact families. Push pause if you need to to see everything. Try to hold it still. Um, I think we're going to stop there for the moment, and we're going to do some other practice activities.